So my name is Lemmy Park. This is Christopher Loas. And the one cameraman over here is Anders Kors. And we're all involved in this uh, Estonian house redevelopment proposal. I call it what if. What if something like this could be done? Uh, our assignment was given to us by uh, the Tulke Koyu, Tulke Gulla uh, team, who, was, uh, who were looking for architects who might have an idea about how to uh, save the Sonia house by uh, using it uh, for, for the future. Okay, and uh, before, before mentioning our own project, uh, let's talk about, a little about history, where all the ideas come from. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to try and keep it short. Uh, one of the inspirations is the, an original sepia tone photograph from around 1905 of the Chester Hill School. Uh, it's uh, sort of alone on the Chester Hill, but before there were many houses built around there. Chester Hill was also a place where you had one of the finest views towards the lake and towards the city across the Don Valley. Uh, so this uh, beautiful building that has since been uh, covered up in the front by the addition built in the 70s, uh, we want to bring it out, uh, bring it back to its full glory. Anyways, it's a, a, a heritage building, so it, uh, it has to be done no matter what, no matter who buys the site, no matter who develops it. And uh, that was our first idea, and from there, other ideas come. So in glory of that uh, historical building, uh, our concept is more like more, not less? Yes, more, not less, comes from the idea that uh, in order to finance this project, in order to create the kinds of activities and the synergies, and uh, uh, there have to be a lot of people using it. Uh, the revenue streams that have to be produced means we have to uh, maximize the use of the building. So there's a six-story height limit allowed for the entire site there, and the idea is to uh, uh, use this to its maximum potential. We're also stepping back the building at the top two floors so that it will seem smaller at the back. Uh, but uh, this is the idea. More people there, more tenants, uh, more businesses, uh, there could be a conference center, there could be schools, there could be uh, a special schools, Montessori schools, etc. as tenants. Uh, that's the vision for the functionality of it, plus all of the existing functions that it, you, it has been providing as an Estonian house for the Estonian community in Toronto. We have uh, some different functions, but let's uh, start with uh, pavilions. Where does the idea come from and uh, why are the pavilions so important at the uh, whole proposal? Okay, so the idea was to find a strategy for organizing uh, and unifying uh, the new things that will be built on the site, including integrating with what's existing there in old. Uh, so the first idea is that in front of the building we're going to create a very symmetrical uh, uh, glass box uh, which has uh, other materials as well, like brick. And uh, this creates the first double height uh, uh, pavilion, the materiality of which uh, is connected to the existing brick building. Then at the back of the building, we have at the very top uh, a pavilion which is meant as a beacon, a lantern, which we might be talking about later, uh, which is also a similar uh, two double height story uh, glass box uh, so it's really about having pieces that are first one sees it once, later again echo each other like uh, bookends on a, on, a, on, a, on a bookshelf. Okay, so we have lots of articulated places, but uh, what about the uh, whole construction? And uh, timber? Now this is a key element. Uh, one of the, these days uh, we're talking about timber technology as the, as the ultimate technology. It, uh, uh, it is sustainable, it regrows, uh, it, it can be produced very quickly. Um, the uh, office building part, office and conference center part, the new part to the back, and the constructions of the pavilion of the front will be made of uh, glue lamb, timber beams and columns. And we also like to use CLT, that's cross laminated timber panels for floors that also have concrete on top with the, hopefully with the hot water heating, radiant heating. And this uh, kind of construction has become very popular lately. Uh, Canada's own um, uh, Michael Green from Vancouver uh, is, uh, has become world famous for uh, pioneering and, 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 uh, and uh, uh, designing uh, wood-constructed uh, office buildings, uh, very, some quite tall. And uh, uh, he makes a very interesting comment about it in his TED Talk speech. 
which is that uh, he asks, when was the last time you saw somebody in a building uh, come up to a column and hug it? So he speaks about the warmth, the naturalness of wood. And he has seen this literally in one of his buildings. Somebody came up to a large column and hugged it. Uh, so this is the kind of uh, uh, environment we're trying to create, the interior environment we want to create that will be very uh, close to nature. And essentially, it's a kind of uh, very Estonian thing to do. So you are already talking about the interior, uh, interior rooms that we have. But one of the biggest room we have there, a double height uh, concert hall. Can you tell us about it? Yes. Uh, so, because the only way this project could possibly finance itself is to have a maximum amount of space uh, that is uh, at least uh, rented and there will be permanent, uh, uh, permanent uh, users as well. Uh, uh, the existing sewer side has to be uh, demolished. And instead, the, it, the suicide will now be on top of the building, uh, where we have six floors, which are uh, have ceiling heights of about three three meters and uh, three point two meters. That's ten feet eight inches. Uh, at the very top, uh, for part of the building, there will be the suicide, the large hall, which will be a conference center, banquet hall, uh, dance hall, all of the traditional functions of such a hall, which will be double height. So that will be uh, at least seven meters. Uh, to the ceiling. That part of the idea that this glazed box would be at the back side of the building facing west, which is the evening sun, is also that that's where the Don Valley Parkway is and a view to Chester Hill from the city itself. And uh, this becomes even more of a landmark building as a result. So we have a landmark building part in front, which is the existing uh, Chester uh, School, and then the new part is meant to be uh, equal. In, in in appeal and uh, and a kind of uh, a kind of uh, strength. For more, we have uh, another features like parking for up to one hundred cars and also the pilot garden. What about that? Can you tell us about it? Yes, this is uh, probably a good point to end on because uh, one of the big pluses of the Estonian house on Broadview has always been its uh, parking. Uh, I remember as a child going there to Estonian supplementary school, sometimes on Mondays, sometimes on Fridays. We always drove there with my mother. She was also a school teacher there. And there was always parking space. There was uh, parking space for uh, families bringing their children to daycare on Saturday mornings. And uh, so presently, the, we're trying to, you uh, know, two flies with one swat, is that the expression? Uh, by uh, putting the parking below the building to uh, uh, underground parking levels, which will be for approximately 100 cars, up to 100 cars, we're freeing up the entire back side of the lot, which is to the west, which is the setting sun, uh, to become green space, essentially an oasis. Uh, it will have a, a reflecting pool, at least that's what we're pro proposing right now, but mostly it will be a large open space that can be then utilized for various kinds of uh, outdoor uh, functions that have never been there on that site. Uh, one of the reasons I, uh, well, many people have uh, their uh, weddings and other uh, events at the uh, Latvian house up there on, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the street, but it, there was a huge green area outside. So now we are trying to provide also a green oasis a private space that everybody can't get into it, uh, but the people who are using it uh, on this particular site, which is just another fantastic bonus. Nice thing to end up with. So let's hope for the best and uh, let's look forward to answer for the Canada team. Yep. Team Canada. Team Canada? <laughs>